Ottawa. Everything was impressive and depicting a person who actually answered God's call to ministry. But the last sentence on that page was the part that I remember the most. Reverend Karen's motto for ministry is, make it real. I hope this dinner serves to the purpose of building a society of real harmony and peace. Please join me in welcoming Reverend Karen to Dale Speaker. Well, good evening, everyone. And once again, welcome to Unity of Dallas. And as I was so beautifully introduced, for those who have not met me before, I am Reverend Karen Epps, and I'm truly blessed to serve in this spiritual community as spiritual leader. It is truly our delight to have you with us here this evening. While watching the video just now, um, what came to my mind is that we walk the path of history into the hearts of today. And so our time here this evening is about getting to the heart of who we are as people that share, yet, yes, at our roots, a common beginning, and over the years have taken paths that have brought about the diversity that is the richness of our particular faith traditions. And yet, our faith traditions are truly intended to accomplish one goal, one singular point that resonates within the hearts of each of us, and that is that we tread this path of knowing God. We come together in this community on Sundays that we may live our mission, which is that we pray, we meditate, we educate, we serve, and we celebrate as we awaken to Spirit's empowering presence in our individual lives, in our community, and our world. It is largely this that was the foundation of the unity movement, and I'll share just for a few moments about unity to acquaint you with who we are. Unity is a Christian denomination in that the framework and the foundation of the structure of who we are is following the teachings of Jesus of Nazareth. Unity has been in existence for roughly 120 years. It was founded by Myrtle and Charles Fillmore. And at the very core of who we are is our prayer ministry. We have a silent, we have a prayer ministry known as Silent Unity, which is available literally 24 hours a day, seven days a week, has been in existence for these 120 years, and prays with people of all faiths. Anyone who calls for prayer receives prayer through Silent Unity. This is part of what is so endearing to those of us who call Unity our spiritual path is our inclusivity. And that we recognize there are many paths which lead to this one God. And that each of those paths have with them the resonant voice that those who follow that path can hear. Unity has as its core tenets five basic ideas. One, that there is one power and presence, which is God. The second, that there is a spark of divinity within each of us, what we call the Christ or the Christ consciousness. That we experience our world through the quality and the nature of our thinking. That prayer and meditation are our link to God. And fifth, that we must live the truth that we know. Part of how we live that in the way that we serve is through the various outreach programs that we participate in as a community. Not the least of which is the time that we are sharing together today. To be able to speak with one another, to eat with one another, for that is really so um, bonding to share a meal and to have conversation over a meal and recognize that as we share the meal that nourishes our bodies, we are also sharing in the meal that nourishes our souls, which is the fellowship and the, the um, speaking with one another tonight. 
I believe that as we in this spiritual community, Unity of Dallas, continue to live this truth that we know, that this is one of many ways that we can find opportunities for us to come together and to share of our faith and to share of how we live our faith in the world. I do hope that in the time that we spend together tonight, that while we may have walked in strangers, that we leave tonight as friends. And it is with that in mind and in heart that once again I say welcome, welcome, and I look forward to spending more time together. So thank you.